Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. We want to raise our voice on the causes that matter to us, especially in times when we don't have a mainstream voice, even from the Muslim world, in the tone and light we expect. The same with us, we have to really pick up issues which can be pushed because the social media platforms are also censored, not from hatred and malice, but from truth, oppression and aggression, selectively based on their agenda. Now, Switzerland plans to find $1,000 to women wearing niqab under burqa ban law. To be honest, that's moronic. Face coverings in public places are banned after a March 2021 referendum, but face masks against COVID are allowed. See this campaign poster. I never really saw women wearing niqabs that are angry though. Who drew this? Maybe an angry bird, I'm pretty sure. Might be as Islamophobic or then the government is. Art speaks a lot. I learned my lesson here. The proposed ban, also known as the Burqa ban, was supported by 51.2% of voters, but was criticized at the time as Islamophobic and sexist. The ban on covering faces aims to ensure public safety and order. Punishment is not a priority, it said in a statement. How on earth is this for safety? In case of requirements, women do identify themselves, even when they are wearing a niqab. We have heard this so many times and explained it as well. It looks like they are not ready to even listen, forget understanding it. The bill does not name burqas or niqabs, but prohibits people from concealing their faces in public, spaces like public transportation, restaurants or walking in the street, specifying that the eyes, nose and mouth must be visible. This clearly shows Muslim women are not welcome. We have to question a few things. How many sisters do niqab? I'm talking about Switzerland. Why is the government making a huge fuss and issue out of it? On top of that, there's a law being drafted. Come on, use your energy for better things. I'm pretty sure Switzerland has some major problems that government needs to focus on. Instead of policing Muslim women clothing, Muslims make up 5% of the Swiss population of 8.6 million people. According to estimates by the University of Lucerne, only about 30 women wear the niqab in the country. Amnesty International has called the face wheel ban a dangerous policy that violates women's rights, including freedom of expression and religion. We all would agree. Have you noticed who's silent now? Those people who are protesting for Iranian women's rights. Those celebrities who are talking about women's choices. The question is, are they pro-choice? Or is there any bias against hijab or niqab? Undoubtedly, we don't need any theory to back this. Doing a hijab is not easy. Niqab, it's not easy, subhanallah. But we admire the sisters' strength who do niqabs. We respect your choice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and make it easy for you. Ameen. That's a lot of struggle involved with respect to fighting our desires, societal norms which are un-Islamic. We have a message for these governments, walk the talk and annihilate double standards. The constitutions today talk a lot about the freedoms of women. So walk the talk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our sisters steadfast and grant them goodness. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.